Welcome to episode 498 of Apartment Hacker. This is Mike Burnett, Apartment Hacker. is my mission to tease out human potential in the multifamily space. Two episodes away from 500. That's crazy to me. Um, so I wanted to talk this morning about an idea that I, um, I read about recently, uh, something they do at Netflix, which I thought was really interesting in their uh, could-be application um, germane to the multifamily space. Um, what they do at Netflix, um, it's programmed. Um, I don't know the frequency necessarily, but they have these uh, pre-planned debates about uh, business issues that they are facing in, in as an organization. And so they, they stage debates. Um, they find people who have very passionate opinions or very passionate positions about a particular direction that the organization needs to go. And they find somebody that has a a strong position uh, to the alternative, right? Or a different method or avenue that the uh, company needs to explore. And then they ask each one of those participants to switch positions. In other words, argue from uh, the position that they don't necessarily take um, in a staged event. So they get together, let's say they do it monthly. They get together monthly and they Uh, sit in a room theater style and they have two people on stage and those two people debate from their altering (laughs) positions the ones that they uh, are passionate about Um, and then at the end of that debate they make a decision um, on the direction that the organization takes or uh, on the direction of that particular subset of their business and I just thought it was an interesting thing from a couple of different perspectives first and foremost um, allowing an individual to take, uh, or actually not allowing them, but forcing them to take the position of their foe in a sense and understanding an argument from the other side. Um, and then, you know, the, uh, the uh, competitor in a sense, taking the other position and understanding from that side. And so in the blend of those two things sometimes yields a better answer, um, as opposed to this answer or this answer, it, builds a better answer or breeds a better answer. So I saw it interesting from that perspective. I saw it interesting from the perspective of uh, some of the stories that were described were, you know, people who are completely adverse to public speaking now standing on a stage (laughs) presenting an argument that they don't necessarily believe in uh, in front of a a crowd of their peers, right? Or or even their superiors or, or even their direct reports. And so it, it's an interesting uh, exercise in the sense that it builds someone's uh, presentation muscle, right? Or ability to, to stand in front of a group and do a presentation. And, and so I saw uh, value in that respect. Um, and obviously the value of, you know, a crowd uh, or a team of people sitting and watching uh, two people debate passionately the sides of a, uh, you know, a, a direction that a company should take or something they might employ in their business. Um, and, and so you get this sort of crowd think, right? Um, in the sense that not only can those two people on, on stage come up with a better answer, but the crowd think in the room can potentially come up with even greater answers and more broad ranging answers. And so I thought it was an interesting exercise that could be employed in the multifamily space, um, certainly at any level in the organization, uh, but maybe more finely attuned for a corporate setting. But uh, anyway, something to think about. I hope you have an amazing day. We'll talk to you again soon.